Within our fish collection, I would like to direct your attention to the three spine stickle bag, perhaps one of the best examples of ongoing current evolution. And it just so happens to not only be a local example, but to involve local research. The three spine stickleback is a small marine fish which, over the course of the Ice Age, became isolated in many British Columbian lakes. During the Ice Age, during the end of it, approximately 12,000 to 10,000 years ago, many sticklebacks, which were marine, were trapped in these freshwater lakes created by the thawing of icebergs. They became isolated from the population, and in this case, genetic drift, as well as other evolutionary examples due to natural selection, has caused these three spine sticklebacks to change dramatically. Starting from the same morphology, this fish has split into what we are calling different species pairs, one that exists at the bottom of the lake in the benthic zone, and one that exists near the top of the lake in the limnetic zone. The benthic fish has evolved to be a much darker color to better blend in or camouflage with the algae and debris at the bottom of the lake which it feeds on. The smaller limnetic species pair of the stickleback is much smaller and faster than the bottom benthic. This aids it in swimming away from predators such as birds who feed at the surface level of the water. It's also faster because it is eating plankton and various microscopic organisms and it must be faster to catch. It is also much lighter in color which helps it camouflage in the light colored waters with the sun striking so that predators such as birds have a harder time identifying it to capture it. Benthic stickleback and limnetic stickleback from the same lake do not interbreed with each other. They prefer members of their own class, benthic or limnetic. One of the most interesting thing about this case is that this is not a singular example. This evolution of the benthic and limnetic sticklebacks has occurred in seven British Columbia lakes. When species from different lakes are introduced to each other, the benthics will prefer to mate with the benthics and the limnetics limnetics, regardless of what lake they originated from. Therefore, these two species pairs are well on their way into a full case of speciation where the benthics and limnetics are in fact different species from each other and from the marine three-spine stickleback which they originated from. The story doesn't end there. In a number of the lakes where the speciation event has occurred, some introduced organisms have been added to the environment. This includes an invasive catfish species. Within this lake the catfish was introduced, the catfish disturbed the bottom benthic environment, causing the benthics and the limetics to have their niches altered. This is forming the benthics and the limetics to start interbreeding with each other from the same lake. This this is something that would not have occurred unless that invasive species disturbed the environment. In these lakes, the two separate species are going to eventually, unless we can stop or remove the invasive catfish, likely form back into a single three spine stickleback species. This example highlights many interesting things in terms of biodiversity and biology. First, that this is happening on a very short time scale in terms of evolution. All of these different speciation between the different parts of the lake and the different forms it's created has occurred within the past 10,000 years, very short in terms of evolutionary time. It also shows the importance of conservation in terms of not introducing invasive species. And finally, it shows the importance of collecting specimens. For example, within the lakes where the catfish was introduced, if it was not for museum specimens and scientific record of these species, it would no longer be possible to tell that we were seeing a speciation event within this lake.